when you are thinking of sending mass emails to your mailing list and uh, you want to save money by not opting for any mass mailing solution uh, like MailChimp then we have a software called Thunderbird which is an open source free software which you can download from mozilla.com and uh, you can use it for sending emails and that to personalized emails uh, to your mailing list so suppose you are having thousands of email IDs and you want to send identical uh, email but it has to be personalized then Thunderbird plays a really big role in that uh, so you have to first of all install Thunderbird and then you have to um, set up your email account in it so after successfully setting up email account in it uh, all you have to do is install the add-on uh, of mail merge so how to do that so go to tools and then click on add-ons and this window will appear as soon as this win window will appear just search out for merge m-e-r-g-e -E, and it will look for all the add-ons which have which has the name mail merge or merge so after doing that click on install so click on it so it will start downloading the add-on from its server and then it asks for restarting the software so after successfully installing your add-on which is mail merge if you click on extensions you will see it here in the list and you will also see the option of disabling it so that means that it is successfully installed so if you want to read about it it says that it helps to send multiple uh, um, send emails to multiple recipients so by default you cannot personalize the emails and uh, by default you cannot send emails to 25 or 100 recipients at once so this mail merge add-on is a very handy kind of software which helps you in sending emails in bulk so how to actually send email uh, so first of all you have to just uh, go to file and then new and then message and over here you have to enter the email id to which you want to send then subject and then body of the uh, email so before that we will just open library office to uh, library office or um, windows excel microsoft excel so do that so we have to create a csv file in which we will be having names and email id so let's say the name of the recipient would be ashish sachin john Mayank, and Varan. and then we are having uh, email ids so let's say it's ashish at the rate.com so we are just creating some dummy email ids so that can be sent in case we will receive any delivery failure message then it means uh, something was wrong with the email id okay, so we are having other names now so all we have to do is save the file in csv format so we are saving it in Docs. Let's name it email list.csv. Uh, or from here, you have to select a text CSV, which is .csv, and then click on save. Uh, so use text CSV format. So now we have a CSV file which has been created. Now all you have to do is go to your Thunderbird and then write a mail. So you have to understand that we really need to remember these two um, names. So we have name and email ID. So email ID has to be there in, uh, in front of two. That two enclosed in double curly brackets in subject we can have welcome to the and 
over here we can just address the person here and we have name so this is very important part which is uh, you have to enclose the these uh, names within the curly brackets so after you have done that just press enter and just type your message whatsoever it is so after doing that you can just go to this file and then mail merge option and over here you will see attachment so since we don't have any attachment uh, we don't need it and uh, deliver mode we can have send now so over here the source would be a CSV file and which is in the documents folder. So locate that file from the file browser and then select it. So after successfully selecting it, then press OK. And then now mail will be start uh, sending out. So we can see we have current one, total five, and it is delivering the email. And then again it is connecting with the SMTP and it is delivering the message. So emails are being sent one by one to the recipients. So emails are being sent to the recipients one by one. And we can see we are having four delivery emails message that the user doesn't have that particular uh, email ID. The email IDs to which we sent the emails uh, don't exist. So if they don't exist then we will receive the failure message. So we received a few, four of them. And if we will go to send mail then we will see that we are having personalized emails. Dear Gaurang, dear Mayank, dear John, dear Sachin, dear Ashish. So if you are having hundreds of emails, then it saves a lot of time uh, when you send emails. So suppose you have done that manually, uh, if every email would have taken three minutes, then if you are sending thousand emails, then it, it would have saved you 50 hours. So you just have saved 50 hours of your time by using Thunderbird. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button for receiving more updates from Being Skilled.